This is the dark reality of the internet. I'm so excited. I was, I just got back from the gym. I need to take a shower. Like I desperately need a shower. But then I saw this. I just got so pumped that I'm like, I got to record. I got to record. So I made this video. It has, I think it has like 1.5 million views now. I can't believe how many views it's gotten. Maybe actually, no, I think it's, it's almost at 2 million. And you might've seen it. It's a video about Burger King's moldy Whopper campaign. Burger King took one of their burgers and they just let it sit out for, I think, 34 days to show what will happen, to show how moldy it gets, to prove that they don't use any artificial preservatives. They wanted to make a point. This is healthy. It's a healthy Whopper. It's a healthy burger because they don't use any artificial preservatives. I made a video about this and went viral. I got this video idea, actually. I, I found it on, I think it's marketingmentor.in. That is the name of the Instagram account that I follow. They made a post about it, and then I made an original script about this. I sat down at my desk. I wrote this script. I wrote it the day before, and then when I woke up and my voice was all deep and raspy, I recorded my take. I recorded it in like three minutes really fast. I edited it pretty fast as well, put it up, and I didn't expect it to go as viral as it's gone. It's like, I think, it, like 2 million views now. I did not expect that, and it's probably going to get past 3 million. So I make this video. It's doing really well. People are sharing it nonstop. And then I see that another advertising marketing Instagram that I follow, I follow a bunch of these because I look for inspiration from them, but also I like their content. I like to learn. I like to learn from other from other companies. And if other companies are doing cool marketing and these Instagrams are sharing the cool marketing that companies are doing, I like to learn from that. So I follow these Instagrams. And this Instagram that I follow literally stole my script, the script that I sat down at my desk to write for the Moldy Whopper, stole my script word for word. And I can't believe it because I go on to Instagram just randomly and I see this account that I follow. It has almost 700,000 followers and it's just a video using the Burger King graphics. It's an AI generated voice with 11 labs. So it's a faceless video. Whereas like my video had my face. This is a faceless video where the voice is generated with 11 labs and it's my freaking script and I'm laughing. And let me tell you why I'm laughing so much because literally this morning, a newsletter, I don't want to call this guy out. So the per so the account that stole my script, I'm actually going to recommend them because they post good advertising content and my script was great and they're using my script. So wh whatever, I, how, I will actually steal from them. I will find scripts that they use and I will take their scripts and I will record their scripts. It's Repute Forge. I think that's the Instagram, Repute Forge. I, I'm actually going to recommend them as a follow because like they post good content. I learn from them and I don't make videos about everything that they post about. But sometimes I get inspiration from there. So they took my script and then they turned it into an AI generated video and just posted it. It's, it's so funny to me. The reason it's so funny to me is because this morning I was going through my newsletters and there's a newsletter that I get from one of the biggest hosts, one of the biggest podcast hosts in business. Again, I'm not going to say this guy's name because I don't want to throw shade on this guy. I'm a legit fan of this guy. And actually, I stole from this guy. Okay, so this episode is about how content thievery is everywhere and it's reckless and people don't care and everything is derivative or people just steal steal like an artist or some people just steal and so i'm reading through this newsletter this morning catching up on ones that i haven't looked at before and then i see this guy now this guy he has a huge business podcast i'm not going to say his name i'm not going to say the podcast but one time he went on a tirade about how people keep stealing his bits he, he goes on amazing rants on his podcast and he went on a tirade about how people steal his rants. They just steal his rants word for word. And he, he doesn't like that. And then I see in his newsletter that he took my friend's joke and used it in his newsletter without giving credit to my friend. My friend is Jason Levin. He's the head of growth at Product Hunt. Great guy, really good follow on, on Twitter on X. He is so prolific in posting. Jason Levin, you can just search him on Twitter. He posts so much, head of growth on Product Hunt. And he posts about me marketing. I've made a video about him. And so this guy with a big business podcast and he has this newsletter and he, he uses one of my friend's jokes without giving credit to my friend, despite him having gone on a tirade on his own podcast about how people are always stealing from his, from him and he doesn't like it. And so I shared that with my friend, with my friend, Jason. And I said, when I shared it to Jason, I actually said, personally, 
I don't give an F if people steal my stuff because one, I'll think of more stuff. And two, I also steal people's stuff. So it would be hypocritical of me to care. And so let me tell you, this person who stole my friend's joke and put it in his newsletter without giving credit, when I started my newsletter, I took this guy's opening. So if you are subscribed to my newsletter, you may remember that my newsletter is edwardstrom.com forward slash newsletter. And you can see this if, if you're not subscribed. But I have an opening sequence that says like, hey, thanks for subscribing. Great choice. I'm going to bring the heat. It would be just really helpful if I know a little bit about you. So are you in a like A, entrepreneur, B, freelancer, C, employee, D, in school, E, something else? Just respond back with a letter. That's it. And someone commented on X and like shouted me out because this sequence is so good. But I actually got the sequence from this guy who stole my friend's joke. This guy stole my friend's joke, but months ago, I took this guy's opening newsletter sequence. And I did that because I need people to respond to my newsletter when they sign up because it will increase open rate. It will make my newsletter more likely to not land in the spam folder, to not land in the promotions folder, but instead to land in the primary folder of somebody's inbox. You, you want people to respond to your email address and you want people to respond to your newsletter. So that's why I have that sequence. And so people see this and they just respond with a letter super easy. And then actually I create a personal connection because I manually, personally, me, not an assistant, me, I follow up with everybody. I respond to everybody who responds to my newsletter. And so they'll, they'll write a letter and they'll ask them like, tell me about your business or like, cool, what kind of work do you do? Or what are you studying? And I actually will give people advice right there. And I like to do it but also it creates a personal connection. And I like that I create a, a personal connection with people. But my opening sequence, I took from this guy. I changed it a little bit. Like, I think I'm going to bring the heat. That was my own, my own line, but like pretty much this almost the same as this person's. I stole from this person. This person stole from my friend. And now, just now, Repute Forge steals my entire script. And I think it's so funny. And because it's all one day and everyone's stealing from each other out here. And it is, it is a madhouse. And, you know, actually, one of my close friends, and I've talked about him before on the show, he just came out with an app. He's like, I, he wants to put out TikTok content and Instagram content because he knows that organic is amazing. He knows that inbound is, or me, is amazing. He's running ads and he doesn't want to spend so much on ads where he wants to test content before he runs ads on that content. So he wants, he wants to make videos. And he's like, I don't know what to talk about. Maybe I'm just going to use other people's scripts. And I'm like, do it. Do it. That is the world. It's like, I tell everyone, content, content, like, don't be afraid to start. And the reason that I'm even sharing this is this is the reality of how the internet works, of how social media works, and how the internet works, is some of the most prolific creators are just stealing from other people. I've talked about on this show, sometimes I take other people's tweets. I'm going to give a confession here. I take other people's tweets, and I just read them in my videos word for word, and I don't crack the other person. So I'll give a story. His, his name is uh, Pietro Schirano. I think I'm pronouncing his name properly. He is a super prolific poster on X on Twitter about AI. And I made the most viewed video in the world on the Silicon Valley bank collapse. That video was me reading this guy's tweet. This guy, when the Silicon Valley bank collapse started happening, this guy asked ChatGPT to explain the collapse in monkey banana terms. And his tweet started going viral on Twitter and X. And so then I read it on TikTok and it went so viral on TikTok. It went so viral on Instagram. It went so viral everywhere. And it was me reading this guy's tweet and I didn't give him credit. I'm not even sure if I showed his handle in the video. I think I said some guy on Twitter. That's what I did. Some guy on Twitter just asked ChatGPT to explain the Silicon Valley bank collapse in monkey banana terms. And I'm going to read it to you. And so this guy, he actually made a video responding to my viral video. And he's like, I was that guy. And this is how I made the famous tweet that Edward read. And now Pietro and I, we talk and we follow each other on IG. And actually he has a company. He has an AI company where he makes creatives for ads using AI. I think his company, I'll give him a shout out. His company is called everart.ai. That's his company. And you can create images of your products and of your brand and then use them in, in ad creatives. And they're super realistic. They're really impressive. And the dude DMs me. And, you know, so many people ask me to make videos for them. And I ignore everybody. 
But this guy DMs me and he's like, hey, would you make a video for Everart? He says to me over DM, this is so perfect for your TikTok content. And then he shares a tweet about how Everart made some ad creative using generative AI and it got a 3x increase in ad performance over the baseline. And it costs, I believe, four times less. So it costs four times less, no, 20 times less, sorry, way more. He said to me three, over DM, 3x from baseline with 20x less cost. And I just, uh, without asking for money, without asking for anything, I just made a video for him and it did pretty well. This friendship started with me using the guy's stuff on TikTok and it going super viral. And he was so cool about it. He didn't say anything bad. He didn't, he didn't say you should have credited me, bro. He didn't care. And you know what? He works in AI and AI just steals from everybody. Generative AI just steals from every, everybody. And if there's any artists listening, lots of artists hate AI because generative AI is stealing from everyone. And that is the internet today. And that is why if you want to start making content, if you want to do content marketing, steal from me if you need to, steal from whoever, try to steal like an artist, try to be original. But if you can't be original, it's better to just get started. People st like this account, RepuForge, stole from me. And I'm on my podcast saying you should follow them because they put out good stuff. I really don't care. I'm going to come out with lots more stuff. More people are going to steal from me. That's cool. Some people may just use my face in videos. That's cool too, because then I get more awareness. I just don't care because I am comfortable with the fact that that is how the internet works. I've stolen from people. People are going to steal from me. And that's the internet. And it's a reality. That's the reality of the world. And I got so hyped when I saw this big marketing Instagram that I have been following for a long time. Just jack my stuff. And I'm like, cool. <laughs> I've probably used content from that account myself. I don't know if I've used the exact scripts or the exact, exact copy that it has used, but I'm sure I've been inspired by that account. That's why I follow it. Anyway, I got so hyped when I saw this and I like, I got to record the podcast right now. I'm so it's for me, it's, it's interesting. And uh, this has been a bit of a rambling episode. It's partly because I'm so excited. Maybe I'll make another episode about it tomorrow where my thoughts are more coherent, but I was just like, wow, I got to share this. All right. This is episode 343. You know, there is a famous character in the Halo video games. I'm a huge fan of the old Halo, not the new Halo. Halo got acquired by 343 Industries. And then it started being really terrible. The original Halo is made by this company, Bungie. And it's amazing. It's about heroism. It's about stoicism. God, the, sto the stoic values in the original Halo, so good. The score is amazing. The music is amazing. The story is incredible. And before it was acquired, it was really just, I mean, there's a reason that it was a worldwide phenomenon. And one of the characters in it is called 343 Guilty Spark. And I was just reminded of that. And I really like those games. And you know, this episode 343, if you want to see great advertising, really good advertising, really good marketing, watch the TV commercials for the Halo games under Bungie. You can search Bungie Halo advertising on YouTube, and I'm sure you will find some amazing stuff. Or you could search it on Google and you will see the, the ads that they made. And their ads were great, so good. And then once the game went into the hands of 343 Industries, things really went downhill. Like the feedback that the games got, the, the games just got progressively worse scores and the advertising got way worse. The music became worse. Everything became worse. But Under Bungie was just some of the most amazing, brilliant work. And especially the marketing that they did. That company partially inspired me to go into marketing because I was so moved by, they could make these commercials that felt like movies and you loved watching them and you would watch them over and over and over and over again. That's how good they were. So yeah, 343 reminding me of Halo. It's, I think worth talking about. I got to quickly share what happened after I recorded this episode. This day keeps getting crazier. Two things happened. First of all, I got my first impersonator. Somebody on TikTok made four accounts impersonating me. Did this, I guess, days ago. And I only found out about it after I recorded this episode because somebody DM'd me and said, hey, this person is impersonating you. So this happened the same day that all of this happened on, I got my first impersonator. And then the video that copied me from Repute Forge, the video that copied me, the audio got removed. Repute Forge put a story about it that I guess Instagram was able to detect the script was the same as my script. 
or somebody reported it. I don't know what it is. My guess is it is the first thing that is AI just detected that it was unoriginal content. But anyway, put out a story saying the audio got removed. So you don't hear the Eleven Labs audio reading my script. They just swapped out the music. And so it's just music with pictures of the campaign and text. And that text is my script. But like, I can't believe this day. Everyone's stealing from each other. Then I give my first impersonator. And then the, this video, surprisingly, the audio gets cut. Crazy day. Okay, this is episode 343 of my daily marketing podcast. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.